Hi everyone, welcome to Nika TV. This is Dr. Achal and it's amazing to be back to answer some of your burning questions about a skincare ingredient that you might be wanting to incorporate in your routine and have many questions about. Retinoids. So without further ado, let's begin. Retinoid is a vitamin A derivative. It acts on the DNA of a cell and brings about a variety of changes to your skin. It acts on both the upper and the lower layer of the skin. It increases skin thickness. It improves the texture of the skin. It causes even distribution of melanin, so it reduces dark spots and also improves the penetration of medications. So you would have noticed that there is retinoid present in many of your skincare products. This is so that the other ingredients get absorbed better. But for its anti-aging purpose, the most important action is that it stimulates collagen formation. It increases the number of cells that makes collagen. This reduces fine lines and wrinkles. We use retinols at a young age for treating acne. But if you're looking to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and for an anti-aging purpose, then you can start it after the age of 25. Anyways, before the age of 25, you already have great skin and no lines, right? So no need to use a retinol. Retinols should always be applied in the PM routine. Retinols get deactivated on exposure to sun, so it's best to be applied at night. Do not use an alpha hydroxy or a beta hydroxy acid such as glycolic acid or salicylic acid with a retinol. It can cause a lot of dryness and irritation. Do not be overzealous with the quantity of a retinol. A pea-sized amount is enough to cover your whole face and neck. Do not use two retinoids together. Also avoid retinoids if you have a lot of irritation and dryness and have very sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin and you want to use a retinol, always keep a dermatologist on board in order to tackle any side effects that may occur. Retinols can be applied on a clean dry face before your moisturizer. If you have dry skin, you want to apply moisturizer first and then go on top with the retinol. For normal, oily or combination skin, you can apply retinol first and then apply a moisturizer on top. Always start slow when you're using a retinol. Start with once in a week. If you're able to tolerate, you can make it twice in a week and then alternate nights. If you don't have any dryness, itchy irritation, then you can use it every night. You can apply retinol on your whole face and leave it on overnight. Retinols are very slow acting, so be patient when you're using a retinol. You will start noticing results in about 3 to 6 months. Your skin will appear more even toned, will have a better texture and there will be reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. Be consistent with retinol use and it will do wonders to your skin. Yes, retinols can be used around the eyes, but make sure that you use a small concentration of a retinol in a very oily or a creamy formulation so that it does not irritate or dry the skin around the eyes. The skin around the eyes is very thin and retinol can sometimes cause a lot of irritation and redness. Okay, So you want to start with a very low concentration in an oily formulation. Yes, retinols do help in reducing fine lines and wrinkles as it boosts collagen formation. Your fine lines and wrinkles appear less prominent over time. It also reduces the appearance of new fine lines. So use retinols on a consistent basis and you'll notice a good positive change to your skin. And no, retinols do not cause thinning of skin. On the contrary, it actually thickens skin by increasing the production of collagen. My recommendations for retinol are For oily skin, use Deconstruct Retinol and Peptide Serum For dry skin, use Minimalist 0.3% Retinol Anti-Aging Face Serum or Pixi Overnight Retinol Oil For normal skin, use Ole Regenerist Retinol 24-Hour Moisturizer or Chemist at Play Anti-Aging Face Serum with Ceramides so there you go. I hope I was able to solve all your questions about retinoids and I was able to encourage you to incorporate retinoid in your skincare routine. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other skincare ingredient you want me to answer questions about. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Nika TV for lots more. Download the Nika app to shop for all the products in this video and lots more.